The Minecraft universe is an amazing place, full of adventure, baddies, and blocks. Lots of blocks. I am Ace Galaxy Allen, the Seed Explorer, and these are my adventures. Glad you can make it. So, guess what? You know, in the last episode, I had that double spider spawner. Well, guess what I did to it. Take a look. thought I had a, would have a little bit of fun decorating this double spider spawner. It's where I'd be getting all my XP and repairing all my tools. And mending, you know it's a godsend. And I get all these extra goodies to go with it. Take a look at this. You get lots of string, spider's eyes. Oh, and if you happen to sit around long enough, apparently it's a glow squid farm too. Uh, we always need a little bit of glowy stuff. But, you know, like I said, we get spider's eyes, string, spider's heads, lots of cool goodies. I have no idea what I'm going to do with all these eyes. And string, well, it can be useful in certain instances. So yeah, yeah give me a little bit. I'm just going to finish up here and uh, repair the rest of my tools, and I'll get back to you. Ah, there we go. Now I'll just put the creepy crawler slayer up here. And I think we're ready to go. Uh, well, you know, I'll give you a little bit of tour while we're here. Uh, this little spot here really technically doesn't go anywhere at the moment. It might turn into a deeper mine. I'm not sure, quite sure yet. Right now, it just goes that way. And, yeah, we're just going to head out this way. That goes up to some more caves. And this is the cave system where I found this, these two beauties in. It's quite massive. And it goes on for miles. It's definitely going to take time to fill this out. I'm not quite sure what I want to do in here just yet. Maybe some sort of grim... Ooh! Ah! Glow squid! Excuse me. Gotta... Gotta get this guy. I need his glowing bits. Come on. And up. Gotcha. Right. Now, what was I saying? Oh, yes. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do in here just yet. But, you know, we'll have to address one thing here in the room. Pay no attention to the torch spam behind me. It will go somewhere eventually one day. Uh, just as soon as I figure out what I want to put here. I'm thinking maybe some sort of underground fantasy goblin type thing? I'm not sure. Oh, maybe gremlins. What kind of things live underground other than bugs? I think I've had my fill of these spiders that float around. But anyway, this cave system didn't just give me spider spawners. It also gave me a skelly bob spawner, too. And it's where I was getting everything until I found the spiders, of course. This one here it almost needs an on-off switch. It just seems to be lazy. I could sit here and it won't do anything. See? I'm s it's supposed to give me skeletons. And it doesn't give me skeletons. But, once I stand over here for a while, this is where the skeletons do eventually make it. I got a nice little cozy little spot here where I can just stand and tickle their toes. Oh, and apparently it too becomes a glow squid farm at some point. And lots of little skelly drops here. And it's a good source of bones and bone meal for all my greenery. Gotta have my bushes. My flowers. I'm just not happy without them. 
Oh, and the skeletons make these really cool sounds. Listen. That, you know, Mr. Skeleton, I'm trying to make a point here. Get, go on, go, thank you. Now, listen, I'm going to take this sword so it's a little quicker next time. Now, take a listen. Okay. It's kind of cool. They, they sound like they're playing xylophones with their bones. Who knew skeletons were so musically inclined? But anyway. Lots of bones, lots of arrows, and lots of... Uh, uh, okay. Just give me a second. Uh, get there. Okay. Now we're done here. You saw nothing. Okay. And I have something else to show you. I did another build that I'm ready to go and do, so I got all the goodies. Let's go see. So, when we're back here at the desert villa that apparently hasn't got a name yet. I gotta figure that out. But, I have this really cool village hall build, and I'm hoping you're gonna like it too. We'll just see how it goes. I'm pretty sure I've got all the tools and all the materials for it now, and... Yeah, we're just going to take some of the sandstone here. Alright, you get this one, this one, and a little bit of spruce to start us off with. And yeah, all my tools are ready to go. I'm ready to go. I got a lovely snack in hand. I hope you do too. Grab yourself a drink and enjoy the time lapse.
So, what did you think about the time lapse? I hope you enjoyed it. I'm trying out some new camera angles with my drones. It looked pretty good in my opinion. What do you think? Let me know down below. But I've had a lot of fun terraforming this area and making it pretty. The village hall turned out fantastic, in my opinion. And, you know, I got this path here that's all pretty. Oh, and don't pay no attention to that. I'll sh we'll show you that later. We got this little wagon. It's in need of repair. And we got the hall itself. I had a lot of fun designing this and using Lightmatica to start it all off. And I even did some redstone. These lamps, they turn on at nighttime. It's so cool. Granted, it took me a bit to figure it out. Redstone, not my forte. But, you know, we can come up here and we can talk to the villagers. They can tell us what they need. And what they've been asking me recently is homes. Oh, yeah, we'll get to him in a minute. They want homes. And while I was digging around, I found this cave system below us that goes out to the ocean. So I thought that was a kind of a neat little secret stashed hideaway, you know. An escape route. And we got lots of storage, lots of little knickknacks, books for rules and regulations. Every city hall needs that. And yeah, we got lots of little hidey holes. And I had a, a, these bushes, uh, they're probably going to get changed. But I need to find some azaleas. I haven't found them yet. But I will. And coming out here, you know, I this pond here, naturally generated, I just prettied it up. And it's going to house the axolotls. I'm going to find them. I'm going to bring them home. And I'm going to find glowberries and moss, too. I have to. There's just... I just gotta. And we got the village graveyard. It serves multiple purposes, of course, as well as a little secret one for me that I'll show you here in a second. By the way, I need a name for my graveyard care keep. I'll drop a name down below. And this... <laughs> this is my secret. Secret little hideaway. Well, I guess it's our secret. Our secret. You and me. Yeah. Anyway, we keep going along and we got lots of little bushes. Because after all, who says that you can't have greenery in the desert? It's easy. Especially when you got a guy taking care of everything. And we got another little secret hidey hole for myself. And, oh, yeah. You don't mind if I show everybody the house I built for you, right? Right? Come on, I can show you. Just nod your head. Yeah, nod your head. Ah, good, thanks. And this is his house. A little small, and he's got his books and his bushes. A little bed and some storage for all of his goodies. But that's uh, the graveyard. And it kind of fills out this back area, which makes it even better yet. Now, this stuff over here, I'll, this I still have to work on back here. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to put here. And, well, Tin B here, he's staying put. Y you don't move graves once they've been planted. It's just not right. Under any circumstance. And we come out here and we reach out back into the path. And I came out and I had to make a si village center. Got to find myself another bell so that the... Villagers that once they start roaming will be able to have a place to go And over here we got our dock area. I Gotta get some fishermen in here Gotta have somebody that sells fishy goods. I mean come now Yeah, I don't quite know what I'm gonna put here, but another stall And we got the docks for the small boats. I still got to work on this dock. I'm not 100% happy with it. And I got this lovely crane for when the bigger boats come in. I mean, everybody needs a supply crane. And what cargo dock would be complete without cargo? I mean, this crate seems to be going to the mines. It's going to have TNT in it. Quiet. I gotta get that in there. Just pretend it's there. 
And the mine cart here, that obviously it's going to the mines. I mean, obviously. A little cargo crate here, full of hay, possibly going to a farm, maybe. Got another little stall here. Not quite sure what I'm going to put there. Now, here. Here, I need you to just envision, pretend something's here. Envision with me a cargo ship. Not a great big freight liner, but a medium-sized cargo ship. That's going to go there. And over here, I'm thinking a sailboat or a tugboat or something boaty. And over there, I was thinking of putting a fishing shack on stilts to outlook the ocean. And yeah, the dock here is uh, well supported, as you can see. The style kind of matches the uh, bridge over here. And all the sides are well supported, so you know the storms that come off the ocean. Don't wreck it. Uh, pay no attention to the caves down there. This whole area is riddled with them. Yeah, you got the red sandstone I wanted to bring in for a little bit of color. I just kind of got building and got carried away. Again. As I do. But what do you think? I hope you like the build. And I hope you like how the area is turning out so far. And you know what? Y you better make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe and that like button. And because the next episode, we're going on an adventure. Like I said, we need axolotls. So I hope you tune in next time. Same space channel, same space station. Cheers, everybody. Take care.